Hi, I'm Matt Padlow. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm taking you inside Smart and Final, where we're doing some work. We've done a lot of beams, I beams, pillars inside the walls of this place and up in the ceiling, but we're doing some catwalks and railings today. That's more, this door's more finished. It's not just a bunch of studs and open walls. So come along with me, learn how some on site metal workers do construction projects such as stores. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video for the YouTube algorithm. That'd be awesome. And you can follow me on Instagram at Matt Padlow. Cinder block buildings need to be capped at the doorways with our custom made C channel we make in our shop out of flat. You see that with a blip as I walk to the door that was done throughout the building. There's a shot from the ground of the I-beam holding up the air conditioner. There's the stair rails, the railings. This is the base of the I-beam that holds up the catwalk that we are going to be doing today and you're gonna be watching me do. This was done earlier. This had to all be ad-libbed and deviate from the plan since the plans had the air conditioner unit more forward on top of the freezer. Thus the top of the freezer could be used as the catwalk. Since it was put more back, there was nothing for the technicians to maintenance and repair the conditioner unit. Thus, we're gonna have to make them a catwalk to access the doors. Here I am tacking and welding. Oh no, here I'm actually welding. It looks like it's already been tacked up. I'm still going to only spot weld since this is a catwalk. It isn't a load bearing structural weld. I'm using a 6011 or 6010 rod. It doesn't matter which one. 7018 is not technically needed for this kind of work. And too much over welding and too much heat weakens the metal in the welds all around the area. Thus, over welding is just as bad as under welding. You have to find that happy medium. There's a shot of the close up of the I beams. Those beasts were fun to get into place. So this side, you're going to see me tack up the catwalk extension instead of doing the finished spot welds. So I'm eyeing up the area between the two metal studs and I realize that needs to be trimmed. We're lagging down an angle piece into the subfloor and the header of the wall below me. 
to hold down the legs of the catwalk. That's what they go into. So I'm tacking on the outside leg. I square it up with the I-beam. The I-beam is going to be my point of reference. I measure off of that and make sure that it's parallel. Now you see I'm tacking it down to that angle that is lagged down into the header of the wall. I'm using the fireball tool to do this, which I showed in an earlier video, which is a great way to jig up a solid 90 easily, especially if you're one guy. That This needs to be trimmed. We rough fabbed up the legs and certain pieces of this catwalk in the shop prior so we could just trim it. So I want this to fit right between those two pre-existing metal studs that were put up. Thus we don't have to remove anything. So I'm bumping right up against one of them and then measuring off. And as you can see, even the grates get their rod stuck. You rip out another one and you move on. You saw how I removed my lead from it once it wouldn't come off. Just take the lead off, wiggle it and snap it off. I wasn't supposed to fumble it though. Here I am welding up the crossbar. Actually tacking up the crossbar to be more specific. I usually do corners. Always tack in the corners. Your welds begin and end in the corners. If you put your tacks right in the middle of where your bead is going to weld, there's going to be an ugly bump or a lump or it's not going to fuse right at the toes down into your piece. No matter what stage you are in your welding, tack at the corners where you're going to begin and end your weld beads. This is earlier our project that we never showed. Your welds as a structural certified welder are holding up buildings are holding up heavy things people rely on your work day in and day out to stand the test of time and wear and it's neat to see what it looks like once all the walls are put up around these beams you can see that this big i beam has a kicker going up to this column with saddles which again in pre earlier videos i have showed you how we do and all this stuff had to be stick welded with 7018 on site, high up in the air in a lift, because this freezer didn't exist before. And they were lawn welds, and they needed to be hot. Make sure they penetrate to hold up stuff. And here's a view of the catwalk that you saw me just put in this video. Now you saw a little of what goes into a day on site at a construction project for commercial buildings, such as grocery stores, 